Hi, I'm Luc Bolduc, a software developer at Softimage, and today I'm going to present you a tutorial about Paper Vision 3D content creation using the Softimage XSI mod tool. Please note that the text version of this tutorial is available on my website bolduciatsi.com. Also, this is only the first part of this tutorial video, so once you're done with this video, look for the second part. This tutorial will walk you through the creation of the XSI mod tool animated 3D logo that I'm showing you right now. What's great about this is that it will work in everyone's internet browser as soon as the Flashline plugin is installed. The tutorial covers Paper Vision 3D installation, Flash CS3 project setup, basic modeling and texturing technique in the XSI mod tool, and the export of Paper Vision 3D compatible Colada files. You'll need the Softimage XSI mod tool and Softimage Crosswalk 2.5, which contains the Paper Vision 3D compatible Colada exporter update that you can download on softimage.com. You'll also need Adobe Flash CS3. Once you have all that installed, here's how to get and set up Paper Vision 3D. First, install your favorite SVN software. I use Tortoise SVN. Then, create an empty folder and right-click on it. You'll see the Tortoise SVN options. Do SVN Checkout and pass the Paper Vision 3D repository URL. The Paper Vision 3D files will be downloaded. I already did that in the following folder. Open it and go in the AS3 trunk subfolder. Copy that path. Now let's open Flash CS3. In Flash, Exit, Preferences, Action Script, Action Script 3.0 Settings, add an entry and pass the Paper Vision 3D class path that you just copied. Now create a new Flash file Action Script 3.0. Save your project, call it XSI Mod Tool. Copy the action script file xsimodtool.as that you can find on my website in the folder where you saved your project. In the document properties, set the document class to XSI Mod Tool. When you click on the pen icon, the action script file should open. Now that we've verified that this works, Let's set the frame rate of our project to 20. After that, import the background image and the material texture in the project library. So file, import, import to library, browse and select XSI mod tool underscore background .jpeg and XSI mod tool underscore texture .jpeg. Let's set the size of our project to 485 per 347 the size of the background image. Let's drag and drop the XSI mod tool underscore background JPEG from the library to our stage to make it the background image. Position it to X0 and Y0. The XSI mod tool underscore texture JPEG will be our 3D object texture. Paper Vision 3D does not import the texture automatically from the Colada file. Instead, it looks for an asset in the Flash project that matches the 3D object material name. To make that image available to PaperVision 3D, we need to export it for ActionScript. You do that by right-clicking on the XSI mod tool underscore texture.jpg in the library, and you select Linkage. Then, set the Export for ActionScript option to True. For easier name matching purpose, we need to remove the .jpg extension from the class name. We will use that exact same name for the material in the XSI mod tool. We are now ready to start creating the 3D objects with the XSI mod tool. For those that are new to the Softsmash XSI mod tool, you'd be happy to learn that it is a free 3D modeling and animation package for non-commercial use. The mod tool is packed with the same 3D modeling and animation tools that the Pro use to create AAA games. 
One thing that's really nice about the mod tool is that it's crosswalk enabled. This means that you can import and export content to and from other applications using the colada.xsi or the fbx file format. In other words, your data is not locked inside the mod tool. The fact that the colada exporter is enabled in it is actually what allows us to create content for Flash with the cool Paper Version 3D technology. When you start the mod tool, you get presented with the NetView browser that gives you easy access to a set of tutorials, to sample content, and other plugins and information. It also starts in a simplified UI mode, but we want to switch to the standard XSI user interface to have access to more advanced features that we will use in this tutorial. So we go in Mode, and we select XSI Default Pro Mode. We will use a background image as a guide to perform the modeling of the logo. So let's set this up. Minimize the user viewport by clicking in its top right corner and maximize the front viewport by clicking in its top right corner. Then enable the viewport rotoscope mode by clicking in on the display mode menu. And then in the camera rotoscopy property page, set the guide image by doing new new from file and browse to the XSI mod tool underscore rotoscopy.jpg. Set both the width and the height to 30. Close the property page and then you can use the Z shortcut key plus the left mouse button to pan, the middle mouse button to zoom in and the right mouse button to zoom out. Starting with the M letter Use curve, draw linear, and draw lines around the letters and around the top gear. Once you're done drawing a complete letter, right click and select Open Close to close the curve. Note that you can use the M shortcut key to tweak the position of existing points. Do Curve, Draw Linear, again when starting a new letter. In XSI, you can middle click on the menu button to repeat the last operation you did in this menu instead of reopening the menu again. So I'm going to do that for the other letters. So we've reached the end of the first part of this tutorial. Don't forget to look at the second part that covers the continuation of the modeling task, the texturing, the Colada export, and the final Flash Paper Vision 3D integration and publication. You'll find a link to it on my website, bodsgetsy.com.